welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer and intuitive. It's so good to be able to come to you again, only this time I'm in the year 2020, talking about the year 2021. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the major change agents that I am seeing for the year 2021. This is something that I feel like we can all look forward to that we can all get excited about, that we can all work on opening ourselves up to channeling and receiving. Now I understand that 2020 was a doozy. This is something that I talked about a year before. If you guys are old followers and friends to the YouTube channel, you know that I put my predictions on here very often every week and some major predictions, I do them once a month for what it is that I'm seeing for all of us here in humanity on the globe as above, so below, what's going on in the cosmos, what's going on in the skies, what's going on with the planets, impacts us here down on Earth, of course. And that's my, my job, that's my responsibility, and that's what I love to do, is to give you guys all of the thorough details in a way that you can understand what is happening around you and make it work for you and not against you. And that's a mouthful, but again, 2020 was a bit of a doozy, and 2021 definitely has its hang-ups and its hassles. I know this because at the time of me filming, I am at the halfway point of my comprehensive astrology and intuitive guide to 2021. So this is my manuscript of my predictions, translations of the planets for all zodiac signs. And if you're interested in that, I can link it down below. But for the purpose of this video and for me um, seeing my time and using my time efficiently, I want to talk to you about, again, this major moment, this major change agent, that's what I'm going to call it, in 2021 that we can all look forward to you. So when you can expect this to happen is May 13th, roughly around 6.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth and enjoying life to the fullest, absolutely. Those are the things that I've noticed that the spirituality community or those who have a general interest in astrology, those are the traits that they like to focus on when it comes to the magic and the energy that Jupiter brings. But what I feel like people don't talk about about enough is the fact that Jupiter is actually the planet that connects to this energy of the guru, the teacher, the wise elder. And I feel the reason why that is is because there's a lot of societies that have a hard time accepting and respecting the fact that some of the wisest sages and elders, ascended masters, energetic beings, like spiritual beings that came from a space of jovial energy, of laughter and and fun. And they knew not to take life so seriously. They put life in its place, which is just a moment and experience here to help us to learn, to grow, to expand ourselves. And Jupiter is the perfect representation of that. That's the energy that he brings. That's the wisdom that it is that he brings. As Jupiter is moving into the sign of Pisces, again, on May 13th, to, uh, 2021 at 6.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as he moves into the sign of Pisces, Pisces is actually the sign that he rules, he co-rules. Yes, Pisces is ruled by Neptune, but before Neptune was discovered, it was ruled by Jupiter. And But Pisces is the feminine energy of that. It's the feminine form of that. What happens with the energy of Pisces is that it connects you. It's the very last um, sign within the zodiac, within the astrology wheel. I like to say it's the last step within our progression, meaning like it's a, the last lesson. It's the last... Um, the last connection that it is that we experience. And what Pisces brings is this reminder to connect to our highest vibration. And for that, for that reason, Pisces is connected to the energy of soulmate love, twin flame love, um, loving others as you love yourself, um, loving yourselves unconditionally, loving the planet, loving the world, loving your experience, your experiences unconditionally. It's very selfless. It thinks very much of the other's experience and tries to relate to it, tries to understand it with minimal judgment. Um, and the, what I love about this and why this is so important is not just for in the realms of you know relationships and connecting with other people, although that's very important, but it's about this higher connection to the divine this divine wisdom. And when Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, this is 
the entire, it's felt all over the world. This is when humanity as a whole decides and feels this major shift within their energy, within their being to, to really surrender and to let go of these old expectations, these old ways of living. Now, one of the major things that stood out in 2020 that made it so difficult was the fact that Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto were moving through the sign of Capricorn, just completely and totally demolishing and destroying the system. This is the rules that be, this is the government, this is politics, this is us versus them. This is um, things that have been set in place for generations that when these planets started moving through, they started literally taking a sledgehammer and breaking them apart. Not only was this felt across our globe and, it, and was it revealing certain cracks within our foundation that made it, um, that were problematic to say the least, and troublesome, but this energy was also felt and shown and was showing up in your intimate life. So these aspects within yourself, these old belief systems, this way that you would go to work, the way that you would live your life, the way that you take care of your body, the way that you would prioritize your relationships or not prioritize your relationships, all of those things were called into question as these planets were slowly but surely demolishing the energies that that that, that they were. Now 2021 not even before we get to the halfway point of 2021. That's why I actually stopped what I was doing, stopped writing in order to come on and film this video in 2020 for you guys for 2021. But 2020 is such a different vibrational shift. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna be the easiest thing because as humanity, we all have different paths, we all have different goals, we all have different intentions. But for the most part, all of us feel this, this overarching um, shift this in our in our energy and our vibration when it comes to our purpose when it comes to what is really truly important to us how we want to show up and live our 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 life and how who we want to share our life with Jupiter is such a blessing and I'm so grateful that we actually have this energy in 2021 Jupiter is such a blessing that it is occurring in its own sign number one but number two that Jupiter is the planet that is occurring and, and transiting through the energy of Pisces because as in, in the timing of it, you guys know if you're a part of the, if you're part of my Bahati Vibe tribe or if you're subscribed to my channel, you guys know that I, I believe divine timing is always at work. So there's no mistake. There's no coincidences. And what I've learned is that with astrology, as the cycles move on, it's literally the cycles of life and everything falls into place. But I just find it so perfect that as the foundations of our politics, our government, our business, our branding, our healthcare, our educational system, all of those things, and then some, our economy, our e-commerce, our elected governmental government officials, right? Because that's what Saturn, let me go ahead and adjust this just a little bit. That's what Saturn ruled and that's what Je uh, Jupiter was ruling and that's the energy that Pluto was ruling is these these elected officials emphasis on the word elected officials where does their wisdom come from where does their knowledge come from we'll talk about that in a second but they were they were more prioritizing control power manipulation in order to hoard in order to assert their dominance in order to materialize their own intention which from the charts, no matter what side you fall on, no matter what you believe, and when from an astrological perspective, their 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 intention was for very selfish, or it had ulterior motives to it. Now, as Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, this is when we're going to start to see and experience a shift in that energy. Not only does it invite in leaderships that are unconventional, but they are from different cultures, they are from different worlds. This is going to take an already small planet. Our, our globe is huge, but we're very, we're very connected right now. In 2021, it was about divisiveness, what separates us from them and how different our experiences were and how much there were some people who just wanted, didn't even want to accept that that was a reality, didn't want to accept that, um, you know, different, you know, struggles or why people were struggling. They wanted to just be stuck in their own perspective and just, you know, not even consider anyone else's pain or suffering. But now that Jupiter's moving to the sign of Pisces, we have this shift into, okay, we are going to have more leadership and they're not even going to be called leaders. They're like people in positions of leadership who, I don't want to say 
um, share their philosophies and their theories. But essentially, that's kind of you know what it is that I'm seeing, and that's the best way I can describe it. But they come through and they share their wisdom from their different cultures, from their different backgrounds that influences and will help to rebuild our world and our humanity once again. Now, years ago, I said a warning on my on my YouTube channel about five years ago. I said, if you are not flexible with this energy, you will fall victim to it. There will be lives lost. There will be massive, you know, eruptions in our planet, in our, in our experiences with earthquakes and, and volcanoes and terrorist attacks and those types of things. If you are not open to considering the lives and the opinions of other people, and if you're not open to watching what other cultures are doing or what other communities are experiencing, you're going to fall victim to it. Now, Jupiter, thank God, Jupiter moving to the sign of Pisces graces us and gives us compassion and gives us a leader, a guru, who says, okay, I need to take all of these things in, into consideration. And they actually pull from a more selfless place. So even though they may not be, and hear me, mark my words on this, they may not be elected officials, but they are the ones who are put in a position and a, a place of power to help the elected officials and the governments, because everyone serves their, their role. Everyone has their role, their responsibility. And not every, not one person can be all things. We have to benefit from the gifts and the, and the knowledge and the wisdom of everyone, because everyone's unique in what they are here to contribute. Like I, was, like I was saying, so these gurus, they are put into positions of power to help the elected officials and those who are there to create the rules and to create these regulations so that it does incorporate everybody, so that it is for our highest and greatest good. Now, that's something that I can see in like um, my global prediction. On top of that, I do see a bit of a shift when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to religion. So religion serves its purpose, but it has limits to it. So religion, I believe, is designed for those people who need rules, need regulations, in order to cement a routine to help them to prioritize their relationship with with their belief, so a higher power or whatever, or to prioritize their spiritual practice. I do not fall under any one religion, ever. I'm a very spiritual being. I say that because people like me start to showcase themselves more. We've never really needed anyone to tell us to prioritize spirit or to prioritize our spiritual selves or to take care of our spiritual hygiene or our routines. It's something that is ingrained within us. It's something that we pursue. It's something that's important to us. We prioritize it and, it, and without it, we would be lost. Without it, you, like I need it, I, I love it. That's what I'm seeing in 2021 is this shift towards these open-minded and accepting not religious uh, establishments because religion itself was also demolished in 2020 whether we want to talk about it or not people's faith was really tested but anyways in 2021 people are going to start prioritizing their spiritual hygiene their spiritual practice their spiritual connection these are things, and now this is how it's going to impact you in your intimate life, something that, is that I wanted to talk to you guys about. When Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, Jupiter rules this higher level of wisdom. It's not what the world teaches us, and I, that's something that people within the astrology community and spirituality community are not talking about. But we talk about it here. You guys know I always give you guys 100%. And I don't hold anything back. And I give you details. And I give it to you thorough. And I, my goal is to, and my intention, is to share it with you in a way that you can understand. And make sense of it on your own. Emphasis on your own. I also teach that, teach that in Sacred Circle Tarot School. Don't rely on my predictions. Don't rely on the meanings of the tarot cards. You want to make the time and make it a part of your routine and your ritual in order to prioritize your meditative practice in order to prioritize your spiritual practice in your routine and for everyone it's going to look different some people go for walks some people go for swims or whatever the case is or some people actually meditate but either way it's about hyper focusing on what works for you and what makes you feel connected to this universal energy god's love divine you know whatever it is that you want to call it as jupiter moves into the sign of pisces this is going to emphasize and put pressure on every single person individually 
to hyper focus and prioritize their own internal wisdom, their own internal compass, compass, their own internal direction. These are things that no one can share, no one can tell you. Jupiter rules Pisces, you guys, and I want to show you how this all connects within the astrological chart, right? So Jupiter co-rules Pisces. Pisces is the 12th sign within the zodiac wheel. The very opposite of 12 is 6, which is ruled by Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury and Jupiter go hand in hand. They both connect to wisdom and information sharing. Virgo is considered the messenger of the gods. He takes, and the messenger and the medicine man of the gods. So he takes the messages that are received by his connection, his or her connection to the divine, translates it and gives it to the planets or gives it to the people. If you if you look at how it connects to, the, to how Zodiac connects to the, um, to the body, Virgo also rules the digestive system. The digestive system is where our bodies absorb nutrients and, and, and the digestive system shares those nutrients and puts them, you know, puts them in the spots where they belong so that they can serve their purpose in the body. So that's literally what Virgo energy is doing. If sixth house Mercury ruled is taking the information that it receives, dissecting it and delivering it to the perfect place, the right place that is at lungs. That's why Virgo is connected to organization and perfection and getting it right and information sharing and being of service to others. Where Virgo is getting this energy from, and this is going to connect, if you guys haven't picked up on this yet, you will, you'll start to understand it. Virgo gets this information is from the opposite, from Pisces. Pisces energy connects to the ethers. It connects to the divine. It connects to universal love and uni universal knowledge. It is not here on earth. It's out there in the cosmos. It's in the energy. It's in the vibrations. It's in this all loving feelings of love and kindness and compassion that is God, that is the divine, that the universe vibes and works with. And also in Star Wars, I believe it's called the force. I'm watching Star Wars right now. So, and I was like looking at the connections between, but anyways, that's another, that's a topic for another video. Anyways, so Pisces is the last, the last sign of the Zodiac, but really what it does is it connects with your own intuition. It connects with your desire to connect with the divine further. Virgo rules details, but Pisces, Jupiter energy says, those, this information that I'm getting is not from a book. It's not from my travel all the time. It's not from religion. It's from source. So having said all that, as Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, this is about you, you connecting to source, you finding the source, you pursuing the source and channeling it and pulling it in. No one else can do that for you. It's not going to find, it's not going to be found in written scripts. That's more religion. Honestly, though, those written scripts were pulled by those people who were connected to Pisces energy, that were connected to God, that were getting visions. So what does this mean for you? This means that when Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces again on May 13th, 2021 at 6.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then some, as it moves into the sign of Pisces, you're going to want to prioritize your meditative state, your, I'm going to call it your spiritual hygiene, your spiritual routine, your spiritual routine, and prioritizing your own wisdom, your own intuitive visions. Last thing I'll say, Pisces is very feminine energy. It rules the dark. It rules the subconscious. It rules your third eye vision it rules your prophecies it rules um, psychic psychic knowingness and those are things that not everybody is going to get the same vision not everybody is going to get the same symbols as you not everybody's going to get the same confirmation and Pisces is feminine energy feminine force again I teach this in the sacred circle tarot school but it's feminine energy is dark it's the shadow. It can be quiet. It can be uncomfortable. It could be the hidden realms. It, well, it is the hidden realms that impact us in a way that may not be so obvious to us, but it still makes a very powerful difference. In a lot of societies right now, so many people are focused on the masculine, the doing, the moving, the striving, the achieving, the forcing, the pushing, the will to the point where our society has become disabled and dysfunctional and off balance because all it can respect and all that it knows how to do is to move from this masculine force to the point where all this active doing and moving 
they you can't see how un, unhealthy it actually has, has become because you're uncomfortable with sitting with the shadow. You're uncomfortable with sitting with the emptiness. You're uncomfortable with sitting with the void, the subconscious. You're uncomfortable with honoring and respecting and prioritizing your intuitive vision, your intuitive knowledge, how the divine speaks directly to you to give you gifts, messages to not only benefit you, but all of humanity and all you know of the world, the globe. Sorry, guys. So as I was saying, yes, only when, when it comes to Jupiter moving into the sign of Pisces again, you know, your spiritual hygiene, your spiritual um, progress, your spiritual movement is going to become a hyper focus for you and it should become a hyper focus for you. No one can give you direction. No one can give you clarity in the way that God or the higher spirit or the universe or whatever it is that you call it can give it to you. These are things that can't come from a book. They don't come from this written source. They come from your meditative practice. They come from, um, you know, uh, also taking care of your your physical. Franklin, do you mind? Hi, how's it going? Stop. That's mean. Sorry, guys, about that. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing is for children and adults alike, going back into your imagination, your imag imaginative states, your ability to be creative. Again, that is very Pisces. And it's also something that in our societies up until this point has been neglected in a lot of ways because our society, well, I'll say this, the elected officials that were ruling our society and trying to control our society wanted the people to be in a position where they were constantly being consumers and they were not producing their own gifts, their own strengths, because they were selfishly profiting off of it. So human beings were starting to feel a lack of purpose, direction, and identity within themselves and losing, feeling disconnected and lost because our society was punishing them for prioritizing their spiritual health and the darkness, the void, the shadow sides, and also the creative and intuitive sides within themselves. However, as Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, we're going to see a massive shift in people saying, wait a minute, I am a human being and I'm a spiritual being. Here, having a human being experience, I am not a robot. I am not meant to only be a consumer. I'm not meant to be produced at like, you know, machine rates. Organizations, no threat towards them, but we were living in a very Amazon society where everything is developed in two days, where we are compromising the quality of, of certain um, things that we were working with on a day to day. I'm not saying that it was all good or all bad. If you guys know, you know, if you're following me on my YouTube channel or a part of the Sacred Circle Tarot School, you've heard me say this multiple times. There is no such thing as good or bad. It just is what it is. It serves its purpose, but it cannot be everything. So some things really do need to be divinely inspired. Some things do need to be inspired and divinely guided. Some things do need to take time. Some things should not be rushed. Your meditative practice is very important. That's not something that you want to do in five minutes. If you can do it for an hour a day, that's amazing. I always say do it 22 minutes a day. But these are some changes that we're going to see in the sign of Jupiter moving through Pisces. This is going to be something that is going to be beneficial for all of society and all of humanity. This energy, it's been long overdue. On a more personal level, I'm very excited to see the gurus and the guides and the spiritual practitioners who are going to step forward and emerge authentically. I'm excited to see how you step into your own guru-like energy. You're consulting yourself and your guides first and foremost, your ancestors, you're learning from their wisdom. You've moved past these generational curses and you're at a higher vibration. You are asking yourself questions that only you had the answers to. It's going to be clear and obvious to you in all areas of your life, from relationships to eating healthy or what healthy looks like for you. It's not going to be, oh, let me go to Pinterest or let me go to Google in order to ask what my body needs and what my body feels good for. It's going to, it's going to be a resounding yes or no or truth that is found within you. That's what we can expect. If every single one of us is living in our highest truth and our highest blessing and our highest vibration, this world is going to be a good place. And to see Jupiter move into the sign of Pisces and that energy opening up is one of the biggest blessings of 2021. And I'm so excited to be a part of this generation so I can live it, so that I can be it, so I can breathe it and experience it with you. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.